permaculture is a way of thinking about organic agriculture that asks you to think about it as a system rather than in discrete parts. So a permaculture garden has the chicken coop integrated into the vegetable garden sitting on the bed. It has a pond with ducks in it that you then use the eggs. The idea is everything you put in your garden should have at least two if not three or more functions for it. So you, you're really thinking in terms of integration and systems rather than discrete parts, if that makes sense. Does that also fit into your uh, what does homesteading mean to me? Yeah, they're definitely connected. One of their key ideas is the idea of a zone. So things most often used are closest to home and then you work outward. So day, things you eat every day, like the berries as you walk by and the small tomatoes, they need to be right next to your house. Your fruit crops can be further away. So your trees are, would be at the back of your property and then you might go beyond for your wheat and your grains and things like that. And even further for your chocolate which nobody can live without. Um, so the, the idea of zoning and permaculture ties into the idea of what you do on your homestead. Um, and then I like the idea of thinking in terms of systems and the interrelatedness of things rather than everybody being unique and discreet. There's the, it's on my refrigerator, the principles of permaculture. And so I took the ones that I liked the most and I just put them around. So um, the idea that you want to think about something for a long while before you act, it's like watch your site for a year before you plant anything, is, is a permaculture principle to be really thoughtful about what you do. Um, not waste your time fighting the systems, but work with them. Um, the idea of, you know, rather than saying this is a huge problem, to make it more, well, how can I, how is that problem, what can I do differently in my life so that it no longer is a problem? Like that bed back there is really dry come July. Um, the watering system just doesn't reach back there very well because it does all of these and then it gets there. So next year, I, so I was thinking, okay, what can I plant in there that wants to be dry by July? Well, dirt, garlic. So I'm gonna try in that back bed um, planting all the garlic next year. So the problem is the dry bed. But rather, if you flip it and you think, what wants a dry bed? It's, an, it's another way of looking at things.